Shut up and sit down. Hello, people. And here. And I'm today painting locusts uh, from the Gilball range for a friend of mine. So thank you very much, JK. Much appreciated. I'll start off with Zenithal highlighting on the uh, Prime using Vallejo's Off Grey and Black. And uh, as he wanted it as a, in a sort of a pale wood effect, I've um, started out with Carrack Stone over the top. Um, keep it a nice even coat, but letting the darker patches show through. Over the top of that was Upshabti Bone, again straight through the airbrush, uh, nice and thin, keeping the uh, shading areas uh, uh, quite obvious and letting the uh, natural highlights from the priming do all the work for me. Once I've got the um, level of base colour I wanted, I then used Army Painter's Bone. Now any standard bone colour will work, uh, it's just what I had to hand. And I uh, just went on the, again just working on the upper reaches of the figure, uh, the tops of the thighs, the shoulders and such, letting the, um, letting the again, prime start, do all the work for me. Because let's face it, if it, can be, if it can be lazy, let's do it. So, now I've got the base colour down, uh, onto the first highlights, which was a 50-50 uh, shade of uh, bone and white. Again, um, keeping towards the higher areas, more so uh, than with the other colours, just to keep the uh, highlights looking natural. We don't want to um, spread it too far through the lower regions, otherwise it just look a bit weird. And we don't want weird looking figures with highlights on our arse. So, good old fashioned Agrax Earth Shade. Nice, even coat, get it everywhere. That stuff, um, because of the way the fig is, the wood grain effect in the fig is really, really pronounced and really takes the Agrax well. And it really, really um, sinks in nicely. And this is why I went over the top at the end with a oil wash. So, uh, because I'm a flid and I forgot to uh, record the video um, with particularly good footage, I've completely skipped a section. So the brass sections are done in a brassy brass, uh, which is a Vallejo colour. And I blacked out the uh, track sections uh, on the back, um, just with a standard black prime. The first highlights of the brass were done with Genner's Gold uh, from uh, Games Workshop. And then a second layer of uh, highlights were done with Games Workshop's Auric Armour. Now, I'm not a particularly big fan of that particular colour, as it doesn't seem, it seems to uh, be really, really thin. But it does work well with this particular colour scheme, so I use it anyhow. Um, after getting all the um, metallics done, I went back over the top of the uh, woodwork with a gentle dry brush of 50-50 bone and white, just to thin down where the Agrax had hit over the top of the uh, um, wood planes, uh, just to bring out them natural highlights and take away some of the tarnishing from the um, from the wash. Now, if I'd have been thinking on my feet, I'd have used a, a thin down wash uh, to prevent that. But the end end effect was pretty rough, uh, pretty nice anyway. As with the uh, as with the uh, wood, I use Agrax Earth Shade on the uh, metals as well. Uh, it worked really well with the um, brass looking effects. Um, keep bringing all the uh, colours together, and making it look like it um, was a worn automaton, rather than just a clean off a, off a shelf robot looking thing. Now, as you can see, nice top view over the top of his head. I uh, weren't doing a hell of a lot there. I'm trying to actually mix some paint. Uh, we should have done a bit better editing. Nice one, Dodge. But, uh, 
I can't blame him for everything because uh, my camera work again was typically shoddy. So I'm taking the Agrax into the uh, recesses of the uh, metal work and I'm um, putting the Oricom over the top just to get that nice um, rich highlight working on them armour plates. I'm trying to keep things uh, thin here so everything's thin down. Uh, I'm sure you've seen other tutorials that tell you to thin the paint. I'm going to reiterate it. It's definitely worth doing it, especially with the metallics. Uh, if you get the right consistency, it goes on lovely and smooth. If you don't, you make a right hash of stuff. So it's very important to get the right consistency on your paint. Um, metallics is a little bit trickier because of the way the uh, metal particles interact with the uh, thinning agents. So just be careful when you're uh, thinning your paint down. So all the uh, cogs and everything was nice and simply done with GW's gunmetal, sorry, Vallejo's gunmetal, uh, which was then washed in non-oil and then highlighted with GW's room fan. We worked really, uh, really well together the uh, different model uh, paint ranges, um, so I tend to uh, mix and match as, as and when I have, uh, I'm doing anything. So the looks like a wristwatch on his hand, on his arm. It's some kind of, I'm guessing, some kind of fuel dial. Uh, it was a base coat of Caliban Green, which I just made sure was nice and even all the way around it. And this is the way I did the uh, soul stones on the wave serpent. If you've seen that video, so I start off with the Caliban Green. I then highlighted the upper two thirds with Elysian Green, then half of that with uh, Warboss Green, and then just a white line at the top and a dot at the bottom to give you that sort of gem-like or glass like um, lighting effect as if, for what, as if the light's bouncing through it. So in actual fact when you come into painting gems and things you're painting them backwards, you're painting the area what would, you would think would be the lightest, dark and the darker, the not where where the night light would normally work, the other way around. So there we go. That's the final uh, finished paint job. It's a lovely fig. Uh, anyone who enjoys painting should have a crack at it. Uh, I can't co uh, compliment Steam Forge enough. They did really pull it out of the bag on that particular fig. It's uh, it pretty much painted himself. I had a lot of fun painting it. And I know it's only a, a short video, but the actual paint time was only a couple of hours. Really, really easy to paint. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe as always. Uh, check us out on our uh, other various uh, social media feeds as well. We've got Twitter now, um, which I'm still trying to figure out. Check us out on Facebook. And uh, hope to see you again sometime soon. So take care, guys. Have a good weekend. See you soon. Bye-bye.